Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Feed with your host, Richard Santiago. Live Feed is brought to you by Traveling Tech Teacher. For all your digital resources, check out TravelingTechTeacher.com. Also brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com. Get your Die Shall Not Bully t-shirt at Represent.com slash store slash TheBullyExposed. Sal- Salma uh, Yusuf, number eight. Thank you for joining the show. And this is a question I get a lot. So I'm going to answer this for you guys. I would say about four years ago, it was Christmas time. A friend of mine created this uh, YouTube, I mean, excuse me, this uh, Instagram channel for me. He, and then he was running it. Uh, for a couple of months, and then he handed it over to me. He handed it over to me, it was probably a month before Christmas. I was in Thailand, and I said, well, let me do a little live feed, giving a shout out to everyone that I hope they have a Merry Christmas and that the new year will be good for them. Thank you for smashing that heart. Everyone, please smash that heart. Show us some love. So I, when I went on the live, and I started telling everyone, Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. All I was getting was questions from kids. I'm being bullied, what can I do? I'm being bullied, what can I do? And I end up staying on for an hour. Because at that time, Instagram only allowed me to stay for an hour. I don't know if it's changed because I think at that time I only had 2,000 followers. Now I have um, a little under 5,000 followers. So I don't know if it's because of that. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I have I, we have over like 2,000 videos. I mean, excuse me, 200 videos just based on this show. So maybe it's because I have 200 videos. I don't know what it is, but now we can go longer than an hour. But I spent an hour literally back to back answering questions for kids. And that's how I started the show. Good question. Uh, Sal- Salma, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Salma Yusuf, 08. Uh, Thank you for asking that question. Anybody else have a question? So that was over like five years ago. And like SK said, he started doing this. He joined the show in 2019 and he comes on every day. Now, I don't have a show every day. I try. I try. Most of the time, the reason why I don't have a show is because I can't think of a show idea. So if you can think of an idea... You know, please put it in the comment section uh, in in our, um, what is it, in our inspirational post. Put it in there. That's where I would like to see you go. Talented Group for Children. Thank you for joining the show. Where are you from, Talented Group? Smash that heart, whether you're watching this live or record it. So many, so many of you are smashing that heart. Thank you so much. Keep that heart going. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Salma... I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. It says, uh, yes, you agree? Is that what you're saying? Agree? I don't know what you're saying. It's misspelled. So let me know, Salma. Um, but we got a talented uh, group for kids that just joined the show. Thank you so much. Hit that question mark, guys. Let's get, an- let's get another question before I go. I'm about to end the show. Um, but please, please, let's let's see if we can get one more question before we go. And if you're watching this in the recorded version, please go right now. If you have a question, put it in the comment section right now. We will see it and then we will answer it on another show. Or if it's such a good question, we might even make a show topic strictly about it. So I try to do the show every day for those of you that are that are new watching. Um, but most of the time, the reason why I don't do it is because I don't have time to research a topic, right, and and then bring it to you guys. But if you guys ask me questions and keep me with topics, I will do a show every day. What time I will do it, I don't know. Right now it's summer, so I can stay up pretty late and do a show like I'm doing so that all the people that live in the East Coast can watch the show. But usually I try to do the show during the day. So if you missed the live, you could always see it in the recorded version, and then you could ask your questions then, and we will answer them. 
All right, that's why I do got another question. Uh, boom. Oh, it says it, it, it can't, it can't pull it up. I'm sorry, SK, it says it, it, it can't pull it up. So let me ask uh, his question. Um, why were you arguing with that Glenn uh, guy that one time? Okay, so Glenn Norton is, or was at that time, I don't know if he still is, the, um, the president for the NA, NALC. NALC is the union that works for postal workers. And he was not doing his job, basically. Now, I know you can say, well, that's just your opinion. But he wasn't doing his job. People were being uh, abused by management. And he was not doing his job. And I was calling him so that he could uh, help me with the situation that I was having. And uh, he just refused to help. Now, I understand there's two sides to the story. That's my side of the story. Uh, now, whether what I'm saying is true or not, okay, here's the thing. If you saw the video, and if you guys don't know what video, and if you don't know what video I'm talking about, DM me, and I will send you the link. Otherwise, you can scroll down to our IGTV feed, and it's in there. Um, whether, you know, there's a lot of people that say, I I'll be fair in this question. There's a lot of people that say, I was lying. You know, I was lying in the situation. Okay. It doesn't, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if I'm lying. It doesn't matter what I do. He should control himself, right? It's like I told you guys before. You know, don't worry about what the bully's saying. Don't worry about what the, what the, um, you know, the other person's saying. Don't let them change who you are, okay? And that, that, that's the kind of uh, feedback I got on this video is, uh, oh, you're lying. That's not how it went, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm lying. I'll, t I'll accept that. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I agree with you. I'm saying that I'll accept that. But he still is a professional. He's the president of the NALC. And he should not be acting like that, whether I'm lying or not. And the way I look at it is, if I'm lying about somebody, they're not going to get like he got on that video. They're not going to be abusive. They're not going to scream. They're not going to curse. If someone turns to me, you know, as, as a steward for the NLC that I was, I got lots of times people were telling me, you're not doing your job. You're, you're, you're letting these, um, these supervisors run all over us. You're not doing your job. I didn't get upset. I never cursed at someone and, and did the things he did on that video because I wasn't lying. And it's, and it's as simple as that. He was lying. And he knows he was lying. And he got caught in a lie. And that's why he acted that way. Period. And, and that's it. Very good question, SK. Very good question so far. Please, let you guys, want, you guys want to keep it going? Let's get one more question. So let me get your comments. SK says, you're not, you're not scaring me, Glenn. Yeah, yeah, I had to tell him because he got into my face. You can't see that because it's only audio. But the reason why I said that, to being that you 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 brought that up, SK, is because he got in my face like this. We, we're both from New York, SK, right? I get in your face like this, we both know what that means. And I had to let him know, you're not scaring me. I'm not backing off. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, and I also said... Uh, you see how fast I'm moving. I didn't move anywhere. I didn't go anywhere. I stood right there, you know, and he backed up and he went away because he thought that he had a, a punk that was going to walk away from his bullying, you know, that he, he can just get in someone's face and that the person was going to cower down, that I was just going to cower down and walk away and say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Glenn. I, I didn't mean to second guess you. Bullshit. And sorry for the language. Uh, Young says, I love your warm warmth and love and support. And thank you for being so kind to me and reading out my post. No problem. No problem at all. It's very interesting. Yes. 
um, please DM me, Young. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the video that we were talking about. But um, uh, are you over 18? That's the first thing I'm gonna ask. If you're under 18, I, I don't. I don't think I should send you the video. But you're able to find it uh, in our feed. So let me show you that. Let me show that for people that don't, don't understand what I'm saying. This is our feed. This is a feed on, oops, not working, there it is. That's a feed on uh, Instagram, right? So we got different posts, we got different videos, and you just keep scrolling down. It's real far, you gotta go really far down, and you're gonna see like an earth, I think. Help me out, SK, am I right? Um, it's an Earth. You, you're going to see, I mean, not an Earth, I'm sorry, a planet. It's a planet and it's rotating. When you get to that feed, that is the, um, that is the video that we are referring to. And I think, like SK said, I think I'm going to start putting up a lot of my, my videos uh, that I secretly recorded with the Postal Service. Um... And you know, it's so funny because I'm gonna tell you this, uh, when I did that, a lot of my friends were like, oh, you're gonna end up dead somewhere. You're gonna end up dead somewhere. See, I'm still alive. I'm not gonna back down from bullies. That's one thing. I'm not gonna back down. I don't care how many of them they are. I'm not backing down. I'm gonna see if I can scroll down. So bear with me, guys, I'm so sorry. See if I can scroll down to where I at least see it so that I can show it to you guys. And let's see, uh, we have another question? Yeah, it's it's an earth spinning joint. <laughs> yeah, or something joint, or spinning, you meant to say spinning joint. Okay, let's see. Huh, that's weird. It said I had another question. So whoever just asked that question, please uh, post it up again, uh, because nothing's showing up. And I think if you do it a few times, eventually it will show up. So uh, thank you for smashing that off for that that rep that I did. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it is what it is, Glenn. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with you. Okay. Good. Good. That bullshit about you calling Manny and saying you left with all these messages. There's one message from you to get in touch with Paul. Left on Saturday and he had not even been here for the whole week. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's on you. You got it, man. I'll start making shit up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You do what you want to do. You're not. You're not scaring me, Glenn. You're not scaring me, Glenn. You're not. All right. There's the cursing start. So I don't want to get slammed. So if you want to listen to the rest, you're gonna have to go. And uh, let me show a picture. I can't show a picture of it. Because, oops, uh, I don't, it's too much cursing, I don't want to, all right, so look, can I pause it? Yes, I could pause it. So, that's what the, like I said, it's not an earth, it's a planet, uh, looks like the planet's blowing up, uh, and about to go like Nova or something. So, that's it, thank you for smashing that art, check it out, listen to the rest of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post some more stuff like that. Uh, because you guys need to know the background because I tell you guys that I was bullied for like almost 10 years with the United States Postal Service and um, I should start showing some of that proof. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can answer some of your questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, you resent it. Yes. Okay. I saw that you sent something. And that's why I went low searching for it. Uh, Miss Young does a bunch of hugs and kisses and some X's and O's up in there. Thank you very much for those X's and O's right back at you. Uh, let's see. It sounds like there was someone telling you to stop arguing. Yeah. Isn't that the greatness of the... There was a few people there. There was probably one, two, three, four. There was probably four, five, six. There were probably six or seven people there. One person said, okay, stop, and, you know, stop the arguing. And everyone else just was like, oh. And I bet you if you asked him why, they would tell you, oh, he deserved it. And like I said, he said that I lied, okay? I said that I called uh, three times. He said that there was only one message 
left for me, from me, that's it. Or first of all, if there's one message that doesn't, just because I left one message doesn't mean that I only called once, that's one. But two, there were more messages than that because I called and left messages. I called and left messages. And it still comes down to, right? If I'm lying, I'm going to take that. I'm lying. I'll take that. No problem. It's not an omission of guilt. Uh, I'm going to take that. You still don't act the way you're acting. You turn around and you say, you know, this is how I would have handled it. Look, if you call three times, I only got one message and I'm sorry. But you're here now, so let's handle your problem. And to me, that's why he started the argument. Because he didn't want to help me. He didn't want, he's, he doesn't want to help anyone unless they're his friends. If you're his friend, then you will get helped. This is my opinion. Uh, so he, he didn't want to help me. So what's the best thing to do rather than sit there and say, hey, I, I want to help you. How can I help you? Is to start this big BS that he did. And now I wasn't mad. You know, I wasn't mad. But now he's mad or da-da-da. And, and then he's got an excuse not to help me. And that's still, that's the sad part that he thinks that's an excuse. You know, it's like, let's put it this way. Let's say I'm a teacher, right? And I have a student, right, that's being bullied. Okay? The student comes up to me and says, you, I'm being bullied. You need to get Johnny off my back and get him to stop bullying me. And I say, well, I don't think Johnny's bullying you, right? And then let's just say the, the kid is so frustrated. You shouldn't do this. I'm not saying this is right. But I'm saying the kid is so frustrated. What does he do? He calls the teacher B-I-T-C-H, let's say. Now the teacher is like, oh, well, I don't want to help him because he called me a B-I-T-C-H. Not the fact that this kid has come several times to you with the same complaint and you've done nothing. And that's what they do. That's what bullies or or this is not a bully, but enablers of bullies do. They don't want to solve the problem, maybe because talking with the bully is so much work. They don't want to talk with the bully. So they rather handle the handle it with you because they think, well if you if you took abuse from a bully, chances are you'll take abuse from me. So that's why it's very important that when you have a bully the first time bully comes up and just just for keeping things simple bully wants your money that's why it's important to stand up and say no you're not taking my money you know and if you don't if the bully is six feet tall and you're only uh you know five feet tall uh, that's not a good analogy if the bully is 10 feet tall that's better and you're only five feet tall and you and he's got muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles and you're just a thin kid like I was when I was young, uh, you still got to do what you can to put it into it. Whether you tell the teachers, no matter what it is that you do, no matter what it is that you do, you have to put an end to it right there. Now, because if it doesn't get there, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. But to get back to what Glenn did, that's what he did. He, he tried to make up a problem. You're a liar, Richard. So because you're a liar, I'm not going to help you. That's not an excuse. You called me B-I-T-C-H, uh, Johnny. So because you called me that, I'm not going to help you with your bullying problem. No, it has nothing to do. And call the teacher out on that if a teacher ever tells you that. Heather Dunley, thank you for joining the show. Smash that heart. Okay, show me some love. Show us some love, whether you're watching this live or recorded. Show us some love. Okay, SK has another question. Thank you, SK. Is this the question you put in before that didn't come up? Uh, let's see. Something's wrong with the Q and A, guys. So if you put a Q and A and it didn't, and I didn't answer it, uh, put it up on the on the comment section like SK did. Why were you arguing with the African lady that one time? Okay. And SK, this video I have not posted on on Instagram. Uh, so, um, you're going to have to go to our YouTube channel to see this one. So anyone who did, who wants to see this, DM me and I will send you this particular conversation. Okay. So remember when I said 
there's a supervisor that's harassing me and Glenn was supposed to handle it and he didn't, that's the supervisor that was handling handling it with me. So one time she got very abusive uh, with me, screaming and yelling with me. And most jobs are this way, I believe. But in the postal service, it's because of all the shootings. I don't know if you know, back in the 80s and 90s, there was a lot of shooting going on. Um, there was a lot of shooting going on uh, with the postal service, right? People will come, get fired, come back to work and, and shoot up and do a shooting spree, okay? Um, sort of like now, unfortunately, there's a lot of school shootings. Back then, anytime you heard about a shooting, it was the postal service. And it's because the postal service abuses their employees and then fires them for no good reasons. And they exhaust everything, you know, all the legal things, and they still lost because the postal service, this is my opinion, is in bed with all the companies that are are set to protect you, like the EEOC. Um, I see you guys are asking me a bunch of questions. Let, let me answer this one first, all right? So she was abusive to me, and she knew that I had her. I had her. The thing that she did to me is so wrong that she knew that if I filed a grievance, and a grievance is something you file if you're in a union, if you don't agree with uh, your work conditions, what's going on. So she knew if I filed this, she would have been in, in serious trouble. Now, the postal service probably would have covered it up, but she would have been in serious trouble. So what she was doing with me in that video is I have asked her several times for permission to file a grievance, permission to file a grievance, and she kept pushing it off, pushing it off. Now, the problem is that I have 14 days to file a grievance. And most unions are like this. I haven't seen this change. So no matter what union you, you're with, if let's just say your teacher, uh, excuse me, not teacher, your um, employer, um, I don't know, uh, screams at you, let's just say, screams and yells at you on the workroom floor. You want to file a grievance. You have 14 days to do that. After 14 days, you can't, on the 15th day, you can't say, I want to file a grievance that this guy yelled at me. And I know if some of you were probably saying, yell at me, so what? Um, you know, uh, years and years of being yelled at takes a toll on you. So whether you're an adult or a child, so it's that is important. So she was keeping me from filing my grievance. So it was getting close to the date that I had to file or I couldn't file anymore. So I said, okay, I'm going to film this uh, this incident right here uh, that and 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 stuff like that. And it's really funny because people now let me talk about that video. The comments that I get on that video is that's not bullying. Yes, she wasn't mean. Yes, she wasn't really yelling. She she was very sarcastic, but not yelling. But this is the thing you got to understand. Sarcasm is not for work. Okay, someone ask you for something, get it. It's as simple as that. It shouldn't have to be back and forth. It shouldn't have to be no, you didn't again deflecting. No, you didn't. You you didn't do this and you didn't do that. That's why I haven't given you the time making excuses. No, what, Mr. Santiago? What do you need? This is how the conversation should go. Mr. Santiago, what do you need? I need my union time, and I specifically said if I don't get my union time, it's going to be past the 14 days. Oh my God, you're right. I've been pulling it off for weeks. I'm sorry. I will give you your union time at this time. Get it in writing and that's it. That's how that conversation should have went. So that's how you know it's BS. And, and people have to understand that it doesn't... She was smiling. Yeah, she was smiling on some of the, on some of the video. But that doesn't mean that what you're doing is not right. Okay? I've seen people... Um, I've seen people create, because you guys you guys may know, I worked in uh, the advertising uh, for a while. I worked in advertising for a while with newspapers and so on and so forth. I've seen people go log into people's computers that they were bullying. See, people bully you, and then you forget things. So she forgot 
to lock her computer, this particular girl. And I actually seen somebody go in and delete all her work that she did that day. And it looked like she didn't do any work. The girl was smiling. The girl was laughing. Is that right? Just because the girl was laughing because she didn't yell at anyone. She didn't scream at anyone. She was nice about it and blah, blah, blah. But the act is just an act. We can't say that's just an act so it's no problem. No, that's sabotage. And that and that needs to be controlled. And people, I mean, needs to stop. I mean, sorry. And people just don't understand that. So when I get all these, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When I get all these comments that you call that mean or uh, what What else did I get? She was, she's not being mean. She's not yelling, whatever. You know, she doesn't have to hit me over the head with her chair for it to be mean. This is a workplace. I say something to you. You say something polite back to me. If you keep me, you know, if I ask for a pen, let's just say, okay, here's a pen. And you're doing this. I'm sorry that... Okay, you don't want to call it bullying? That's fine. But this is the workplace. Stop the games and give me the pen. Give me what I need to go finish my job. And so for lack of a better word, yes, that's bullying. When you add the other games she played, you know, and everything else, that is bullying. This one thing, yeah, going like this, oh, come on, take the pen. There you go, just, just take it. That kind of BS. Okay, yeah, that's not bullying, but... Is a workplace. Let's stop playing games. All right. Good, good question, guys. All you guys are asking good questions. Uh, let's see. What's your what? What's your name? I'm sorry. Young says, "What's your name?" Is Glenn? I'm not sure. Oh no no no. My name is Richard. Um, and the show you're watching is live feed with your host Richard Santiago. Okay. I am an advocate for thebullyexposed.com. When you get on here, look it up, okay? I'm an advocate for thebullyexposed.com. And uh, that's my name. Glenn is the president of the NALC. Glenn Norton. Look him up. He's the president. Don't, don't, do not write to him and say you're mean. Do not write to him and say anything nasty. I'm going to put that out there. Guys, I do not want that, okay? Putting that out there right now. Uh, he's the, he was, when I was working for the Postal Service, he still might be, I don't know, the president for the NLC, and he's, uh, in my opinion, probably got to be one of the crookest, crooked, cr corrupt persons uh, in the NLC, and believe me, there are a lot of them, but he's up there, for sure. Uh, and Young says again, what is your name? And again, it's Richard. Uh, she throws some more kisses and some more X's and some more hearts. Thank you very much for the love. Appreciate you. Smash that heart right now, whether you're watching this live or recorded. Smash that heart. Okay. This is, okay. So, SK, uh, I think, has another awesome question. Was she lying when she said that you agreed to not file a grievance? Oh, yeah. Of course, I mean, here, here, here's, here's the thing. Okay, guys. Yes, that's a lie. Because would I be a person that says I don't want to file a grievance and then come to her and say I decided to file the grievance? Would I do that? Okay, maybe. And again, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that. That's not an omission of guilt. But okay, I told her I don't want to file a grievance. But I'm in my 14-day window, right? I'm in my 14-day window. So if I turn around and say, you know what? I thought about it. I apologize, but I do want to file that grievance. Her job, again, is not to say, you said you weren't going to file it. You said this. You said that. You know, whatever. That's not her job. Her job is to say, okay, you changed your mind. Here's, here's the permission to file your grievance. Or here's, here's the time that you need to file your grievance. So that's how you know. Whenever Here's the thing while I'm on this subject. Whenever you're being bullied, Really listen to your bully. Really, 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 really listen to your bully. You know why? Because your bully would always make themselves look like a fool. And you got it. And that's the one thing about bullying that you got to learn to, 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 to hear that. You know, I, to be honest, 
I will, I'm going to be totally honest. Every time I hear that, even the one that I just played, I get PTSD from it. I do. Because believe me, I was in a bad place uh, for 10 years with the United States Postal Service. And I was with the Postal Service for 12 years, so there was abuse. So uh, you could say a total of 12 years, it was abuse. The reason why I say 10 is because those two years that I was being abused, I thought it was just that post office. I thought that I can move on, I will pay my dues, move on to another post office, and it'll stop. Because I have worked in restaurants where the chef is extremely abusive. You know, makes, makes uh, what's his name, Ramsey? Makes Chef Ramsey look like a little schoolgirl, let me tell you. I've seen chefs that are worse than that. And I just say, okay, I'm gonna move to a different restaurant or a different part of that hotel or something like that and the abuse stops. So for two years, that was my thought process that, okay, they're abusive here and they're bad, but I pay my dues, keep my mouth shut, work hard like I always do, move or become a regular employer and then I'll just, I'll be able to pick my own, uh, my own station that I'm going to work at and I don't have to deal with the bullying, but the bullying was there too. So, um, so to answer the question, so when you, you talk to a bully, look out for those open spots where they leave themselves open. You know, she said, according, you know, I really don't remember. So like I was saying to you, I don't remember if she said this or not, but you obviously listened to it a few times and you're saying that she said, you agreed not to file a grievance, but am I right though? Please, I wanna know, you know, write it in the comments or write it in the DM. Am I wrong by saying, if you saying to me, if you don't like the way you're being treated at, at the postal service, you have a union and in 14 days you have to file. So someone comes and yells at me, okay? Yells at me, is abusive, screaming at me, uh, threatens me. So I, okay, that's not allowed. I'm going to file a grievance. I go to file the grievance, right? The supervisor comes to me and says, hey, Rich, do me a favor, man. Don't file this grievance. Don't file it. Please, please, please don't file it. I'm sorry. Maybe they say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Okay. I won't file it. And then I turn around and maybe I get abused again. You know, or by the same person, or maybe even maybe the person's being nice to me. But I think for a minute, no, I can't let this go. I have to file a grievance, and I come back to her within those fourteen days and say, I I'm going to file a grievance. Don't isn't that my right? I want everyone that's watching right now to tell me isn't isn't that my right? Isn't that my right to say I changed my mind? I'm filing agreements, but I never said that because this woman has been harassing me. I think it was like two years, maybe at that point, or uh, I, or maybe it was just a year. It just felt like two. Uh, she was abusing me every day, every day. There's no way I told her that I'm not filing agreements. She made that up. And like I said, it doesn't matter if she makes that up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm here now to file a grievance. It doesn't matter what I said three days ago, okay? It doesn't matter what I wrote, what I if I signed a piece of paper that says I won't file a grievance. I'm in my 14 days. I decided I'm going to do it. Give me the paperwork and let's end this stupid conversation. Uh, let's see. Young says, what's your name if... You're okay with asking. Richard, yes. She says, hi, Richard. Okay, awesome. SK says... Was the lady lying when she said you didn't want to file a grievance before? Yes. She, oh, sorry guys. She was out and out lying. And like I said, you know, I think my point that I just made to everyone, I'm not going to repeat it, but I think my point that I just made to everyone uh, kind of uh, solidifies everything. Okay. If I said, and I'm not going to file, I'm saying now that I want to file Give me what I deserve, and let's end this conversation. Uh, Young says, nice to meet you, Richard. Nice to meet you, too. Throw some more. She threw some more kisses and hugs my way. Thank you so much. And let's see. Gordon Ramsay. Yes. 
Yeah, I was I was stumbling for that name. Huh? Thank you, uh, Dina, for joining the show and Swaggy in the morning. Nice. Thank you for joining the show. Uh, let's see. SK says, do you have, do you hate bullies? Uh, and okay, Christy, thank you for joining the show. Okay, that's going to be the last question today because my phone's going to die. And if my phone dies and I don't, and I don't close it, then I can't save it. And this was such a good show. I want other people to be able to see it. So last question, do I hate bullies? I never hate anyone because when you hate someone, you become them. Remember, I call it the Luke Skywalker effect, right? What happened to Luke Skywalker? He was so upset that he was born a slave and that he couldn't spend his last days with his mother that he became the very thing that he despised and killed his wife and almost killed his two children, right? Luke and Leia. So I call that the uh, Anakin Skywalker effect. You never want to hate because if you hate, you will. You guarantee it may take a year, it may take two years, it may take three years. You will become what you hate. So never hate anyone. Will I let her uh, abuse me again? No. But do I hate her? No. But she is not going to get a second chance to treat me like that. I guarantee you that. So thank you very much. Uh, SK says Yankees just signed Anthony Rizzo. Holy bleep. That's awesome. All right. Well, I want to thank our new friend, uh, Young. She, 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 I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. I want to thank everyone that joined the show. I want to thank S SK. I want to thank everyone who asked the question. Sa Salma, Salma Yusuf. I want to thank you for asking a question. And you, whether you're watching this live or recording, you have to remember to put your comments in the comment section if you disagree or agree with what I said on this show. It's okay if you disagree. You don't have to disagree. I've had people come on the show and disagree with me, but let's disagree kindly. All right. Uh, we have a few more questions. Well, that was one of the best shows you've had. Thank you so much. I want to remind you guys that this song that you're about to hear was created by Real Young Blue. Check him out on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. And uh, he created the song for us and donated it to us. Thank you so much. If you do art, send it to us. The logo that you see on our our channel was created by a young 12-year-old girl in the UK. So I don't care where you're at. Send it to me. I will post it. Okay? I love fan art. Uh, young Blue never stays that long anymore. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Because um, he's in the same time zone you're in, so I don't understand. But yeah, he's busy making music. That's why good for him. So remember, don't say you're so perfect to anyone. Remember that. Okay, so Live Feed is brought to you by Traveling Tech Teacher for all your digital resources. Check out TravelingTechTeacher.com. Also brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com. Hey, Miss Young, I want you to check out The Bully Exposed. The Bully Exposed is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that reminds you to check out their YouTube channel. Hey, Miss Young, I want you to go to YouTube right now. Look up Nonfiction Filmmaker. Subscribe and be sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time we create a post on uh, The Bully Exposed YouTube channel. And this show right here that you see will be up there within like 48 hours, maybe 72, depending on how much time we got. Um, but I wanna remind you guys that um, anyone can wear the crown, anyone can be your hero. Be kind to yourself and have a great day. Bye guys. <laughs>